Hey carnivores, welcome back. Today we're gonna be grilling barramundi. Stick around, I'll show you how I do it. Hey carnivores, welcome back. Al from Eat More Vegans here. Today we're gonna be cooking entirely in the backyard. This is a quick dish and it's gonna be a quick video. So stick around, you're gonna enjoy this. So at Costco the other day, they had barramundi and I don't see this in the States a lot. Now this is farm raised uh, and imported. Barramundi is native to Australia and Southeast Asia. Very popular down there. A Little bit uh, harder to find here in the United States, but this is a white fish. It's gonna be like perch, but it's gonna be buttery and delicious. So let's uh, let's get started. I'm gonna start, uh, I know you guys aren't used to this, but I like to have a vegetable with fish, so we're gonna grill some asparagus with our barramundi. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started prepping the asparagus. It's gonna be a really easy prep. I'm gonna start by just cutting off the ends. So let me throw our asparagus on a tray here because I don't want to mix the seasonings for the asparagus with the fish. And for the asparagus, I'm going to put a little bit of avocado oil. Some salt. Pepper. And we're gonna put a little ancho chili powder on here for flavor. All right, now I'm literally just gonna put this back in the bag that it came in, and I'm gonna use the bag to mix up my asparagus and all of those seasonings. Okay, so opening the fish, it just comes in a shrink wrap package here that I can just open with my hands. And at this point, I'm just gonna use the gloved hand to touch anything that touches fish. Now looking at the fish, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna feel for bones. Do not feel any pin bones, so I'm not gonna need the tweezers, but if you're uh, cooking, have a pair of these handy if you're doing fish so you can get any bones out. But this looks pretty good. Okay, let's start with the back side because we are gonna be cooking with the skin side up. So I'm gonna start by cutting just slits in the skin. And then I'm gonna cover these with avocado oil. All right, we're gonna season the back with salt and pepper. Okay, on the meat side, again with avocado oil. And on this side, I'm gonna use a light dusting of cumin and a light dusting of coriander. And then again, salt and pepper. That's all of the seasoning we're gonna need on the fish. One more thing we're gonna make and that's gonna be our sauce. Okay, our sauce, we're actually gonna cook on the grill with the fish. So we're gonna start by cutting a brick of Kerrygold in half. This is gonna be about the same as one stick of butter. Don't use margarine, butter matters here. If you wanna use ghee or clarified butter, feel free. We don't wanna use the, uh, the oils in margarine. So I've got a little bit of uh, crushed garlic that I'm gonna put in here with the butter. And then a little bit of basil that I'm just gonna take the leaves. And I just crush this in my hand to make it easy to cut. And then we're just gonna dice it up. And then I'm gonna juice one lemon. and also a lime. You guys ready to see what's going on with the grill? Let's move over there. 
Okay, let's get this party started. This is Darth. Darth is our extra large big green egg. Uh, he's running at about 500 degrees, uh, but the great temperature is gonna be a lot harder. He's set up for indirect heat. And uh, okay, looks like we're at about 600 degrees here, which is gonna be great for what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start by putting the asparagus on. I'm just gonna put it right here in the back of my grill grates. And then let's go ahead and get our barramundi on. Skin side down. And then right in the middle, we're gonna put our butter sauce. And that's gonna cook right over the heat here. So let's close this down. We'll let this go for about three minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see the fish has started to turn opaque, uh, but not quite done yet. Our butter has started to melt here in our sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and brush on some of our lemon, lime, garlic, basil butter here. Okay, let's give that another three minutes or so. All right, let's see how we're looking here. Okay, now we're seeing our fish become a lot more opaque all the way through. So we're gonna give it one more brush here. And then we're gonna turn these over. So I'm gonna move my sauce out of the way. And I'm gonna use this fancy spatula to loosen the fish. Oh, it looks like it might not be ready. It's not coming out and when it's ready to turn, the skin will separate. So we're gonna give it another couple of minutes. But I am gonna go ahead and uh, mix up my asparagus here so we can get some grill marks on the other side. And yes, I am using a heat protective glove. I'm not just putting my hand on the grill. Please be safe, everybody. Okay, we're about eight minutes in. Let's see how we're doing. All right, good translucence here. And yes, it's coming up. So we're gonna give it one more baste with the butter sauce. And let's turn these over. Let's get some of our lemon, lime, garlic, basil butter on the back here. And this is only gonna take about two more minutes and it'll be ready to eat. Okay, it's time. Came apart a little bit there, but still looking delicious. Hey, welcome back. It is time and I'm so excited. Uh, I enjoyed cooking that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me cook it. This is Leah, if you haven't been here before. Leah is nine. Huge food critic, likes most of what I make, but she always likes the fish. And guess what? I made barramundi. You never had this before. Nope. I don't it's a fish that. from Australia, from down under. You've met people from Australia. You've had lamb from Australia and goat from Australia, but you've never had barramundi. Are you ready to try it? All right. So I made a butter sauce with garlic and basil, and I used this while I was cooking, but I'm going to put a little bit more on the fish just to give it a little bit extra touch. And uh, you know, I know you're used to me only cooking meat, but look, I did a vegetable. Mm. All right, so I got three forks here. One fork for you, one fork for, who's the third fork for? Um, 
Them, you guys get a bite. All right, so I'll take a bite out here for them. You want to take a bite out for you? Can I take one from there? Or is yeah, whatever you want. This is all for us, you and me. We have to finish it all. All right, so I'll leave this here for you guys. The skin is really good. You can eat the skin, Leah. All right, I'm going to take some for myself no, here. No, put it back on. All right, I didn't get any skin, so I got to see if I can get a piece off here. Okay, some skin all right. is not edible. All right, I'm going to taste it without. All right, are you ready? Oh, that's a big piece. All right, you ready? Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? All right. Leah likes to do MTY, moist, tender, yummy. Is it moist? Heck yeah, right? And not just from the butter, right? The fish is moist, right? Mm -hmm. Tender, yeah. obviously falling apart. Yummy, how'd I do on yummy? Definitely. Definitely. All right, now, you gotta eat your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this one's for you guys. Enjoy. Hey, I hope you had fun. If you like this, check out this video right here. And we'll see you next time on Eat, Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.